Back now with an agonizing situation for a woman whose daughters, three of them, face a terrible fate unless they get life-saving bone marrow transplants. Tonight she is in the fight for their lives to change a surprising problem she discovered in the bone marrow donor system. Here now with a preview of her report on tonight's Rock Center is our chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman. 13-year-old Jordan Flynn needs a bone marrow transplant. She has a disease called Fanconi anemia, a genetic disorder that destroys bone marrow and increases her risk of cancer. The transplant scares me because I've known people that have actually passed away afterwards. The bone marrow transplant is Jordan's only hope for survival. And to encourage more people to donate, her mother Doreen wants them to get paid. But there's a problem. Her plan breaks a long-standing law that makes it illegal for donors to profit from their gift of life. As a mom, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help make that possible. So Doreen Flynn has become the lead plaintiff in a landmark case to change that law. Bone marrow is just like anything else in the world. It's valuable, and if you compensate people for it, you're going to get more of it. It's just that simple. And Doreen's need for bone marrow is particularly dire. Years ago, doctors told her the best chance for Jordan was a transplant from a sibling donor. So Doreen and her then-husband turned to in vitro fertilization to conceive a healthy child who could be that match. But in a cruel twist of fate, twins Georgia and Julia, now seven, were born with the same deadly disease as their sister. I was so upset. I blamed myself. Why? We chose to bring them into the world. And instead, all I did was bring in two more sick kids. According to the world's largest bone marrow registry, there's no shortage of people willing to donate for free. We have nine and a half million people on the U.S. registry willing to be that match for that patient. So we are not at a situation where we need to ask somebody to go the extra mile by paying them. They are ready to go if they match that patient. Well, not always. This is your donor card. The alarming fact is that according to nationwide estimates, nearly half of those who sign up to be donors fail to follow through with their promises to help. But for Jordan, there is some reason to be hopeful. Her doctors identified a bone marrow donor who was a near perfect match. And in May, she headed to New York for her transplant. Luckily, her donor showed up. Doreen continues fighting for her other daughter. She wants to increase the opportunities and the options for people so that more people will keep their promises to donate bone marrow and to, very frankly, destigmatize a lot of this, Brian. And Nancy, when we talk about bone marrow donations, what does that entail? No longer for most people a needle into the bone. Now, for most people, it's a simple blood draw right out of your arm as if you're donating blood, and then they separate the stem cells from the blood. Nancy, thank you very much. And we urge all of you to join us tonight. Nancy has more on Doreen Flynn's story. That's tonight on Rock Center at 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock Central Time.